Now today I am out in Mallorca at a resort called Pula where there looks to be some really interesting golf holes. None more so than the one behind me which we'll look at very very shortly. But why am I here? Well one of the things is to look at a brand new golf ball from a brand that has proved to be very very favourable in the past both in terms of price and performance. But this is a brand new version of Seeds SD01. Right, we'll talk about the technology that's packed into this SD01 very, very shortly and see why this has changed. Why is this a third iteration and what makes it better than version one and version two? But I don't care what technology says. I don't really care what data says. I like to see how a golf ball performs out on the golf course. One of the key elements for me is the short game. So we'll look at driver, we'll look at irons, but the short game is going to be key to me as to how much I rate this SD01 ball. So we're going to be playing lots of shots in and around the greens. I'll see how it performs in terms of um, its spin and its stopping power on greens. But I'll be also be talking about feel. I've got a Mizuno forged wedge in my hand and we're going to play a real interesting hole. Uh, well, shot at least because this is not a proper hole. We've made this one up as we walk by. It's 95 yards. I've got a 56 wedge. And as you can see, it's an interesting looking shot. But I want to see what this golf ball does in terms of ball flight and then what it does if and when it lands on the green. Right, concentrate. Oh, that's really good if it's got the legs. Be right. Be right and don't spin too much. That is right down the uh, pin. Really pleased with that. I think judging by where that's pitched and where it's stuck, we've got about a foot or so a grab. Really like what it did. That descent angle was always going to be coming down. Very, very steep indeed. Felt good off the forge wedge. I'm going to try another one from the same distance because this golf hole is too, well, my made up golf hole, is too interesting to walk away from just yet. Hang on there, I'll get another ball. So what makes the third generation of the SD01 different? Well, first of all, in terms of construction, it is a three-piece cast urethane cover, high energy transfer speed zone core, thinner, more responsive DuPont HPF 2000 mantle layer, an extra thin cast urethane cover, and a 336 dimple design for stable trajectory and a more penetrating ball flight. What that means in terms of the ball's characteristics is a softer feel off the club face, particularly on short irons and putter, increased spin in and around the greens, optimized launch profile for faster ball speed, and the alignment device that you can see on the golf ball is uh, for optimal alignment to the hole, which always helps, and they're suggesting player profile is for regular golfers with medium swing speeds of 90 to 110 mile an hour. Right, let's get back on the course at Pula. Right, ball in position for shot number two, and you've just heard the sort of the technology that C suggests is within this ball. And like I said, we'll try and find out how it differs from those first two generations. The price point with seed is always good and it's always what makes it appealing for the masses because basically I think you're getting generally a premium ball in terms of performance but a real good value price. Right let's quickly have another pop at this one and then we'll move on to in and around the greens before we move on to the big stick. Right come on and oh do you know what this is right on it as well. Go. Oh do you know what, they're almost side by side, um, just a little bit shorter, a little bit higher in terms of that ball fight on the second ball. But all I'm really interested in, I've had a bit of fun in terms of playing that shot over the water, but what I really like is there's a soft feel about this thing. That's interesting in terms of the wedge, how does it go in terms of the short shots around the green, but then are we losing stuff in terms of the driver? So we're gonna move position and find out. Right, so before we go any further, I'd be interested in your feedback in terms of what, I've done a number of reviews of late from a kind of 15 pound a dozen tailor-made golf ball. Uh, we've looked at the PXG golf ball back at that premium end. I've always compared up to the sort of Titleist Pro V1s. There's a real interesting mentality thing here. There tends to be a kind of like hardcore Titleist Pro V1 user that no matter what is said about other balls in terms of that premium category, they just won't be told. Otherwise, they're gonna, they're gonna shell that 50 pound a dozen no matter what. And I respect that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's an absolute premium ball. But then there's kind of like that 
middle ground now where anything around the 25, 30 pound a dozen, there is a lot of competition. And I think there's a lot of balls that perform really well within that price point. So the question is, what would make you switch out of that Pro V1 and how many of you are in this price point category now, that 25 to 30 pound, and what is it you're buying? Well, I would take those two shots, and um, as you can see from the pitch marks, both of them have pretty much pitched and uh, popped back just a tad. More than happy with that, and from that descent angle, probably what you'd be expecting. Green's a slightly softer bit of overnight rain, so, you know, I can't take a lot from that, but um, the control was good. I just want to see what they're like off the putter face. The one thing that I've got consistent in the bag right now is the putter so i feel i can give some genuine feedback in terms of how this plays there's a little bit of a push in terms of the port it's super soft in terms of the feel really interesting i mean the mez putter is soft anyway um off the face and i think that's important i'm going to mention that off the driver very shortly let's just have another little roll and gauge feel see if we can hit a slightly better putt which that was it was a lot better but yeah that's interesting because off the wedge and it was a forged mizuno wedge felt nice and soft off the putter which like i said i've been using for several months now with a number of different golf balls i can say that was i would say quite soft unexpectedly after the wedge right let's go back and let's see some drives that i hit from earlier on today Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Shervo, the premium Italian golfwear and sportswear brand. By using some of the most innovative fabrics, Shervo produce clothing that is both stylish and incredibly comfortable to wear, both on and off the golf course. For more information, visit the Shervo website, and I will, of course, provide a link in the description of this video. Right, let's get back to the golf. Right, next up, I'm going to go to the opposite end of the bag and we're going to go to driver. It's a real interesting one for me, this, because people judge and buy maybe golf balls based on driver performance, and I always find that really difficult. I've never seen a ball do greatly different in terms of data that I've collected on Trackman. Honestly, it's always been the club head that has had the most significant impact on what the ball has done in terms of its spin performance at least. So it's a weird one for me, but we'll give it a whack. I've got the new Stritzen ZX5 Mark II drive that I'm testing at the same time. Let's see what it does. Right, well, I'm reviewing this driver at the same time as I'm completing this element of the review of the golf ball. And what I've just said about the driver is it seems a little bit hard off the face. So this is a difficult one for me to quantify in terms of how that ball feels because I've never used any other golf ball on this club face. So is it the driver that feels hard off the face or is the ball? And that again goes back to that ability to quantify. Based on the feeling from the wedges that I've hit in so far on those couple of putts, I'd say it's more about the face of the driver than it is about the feel of the golf ball. All the golf balls did very well indeed, but like I said, I would never buy a golf ball based on its performance with this thing in hand. So I'll switch up to something that would give me good reason to buy a golf ball. And that's that short game. Right, really interesting position for me. That is key to this decision making process in buying a golf ball. Typical kind of place where I want to get control over the golf ball. I want to see what it does in terms of when it lands on the green. Got camera up on top. It's actually not an easy shot because as you can see, there's a bit of a, a rise before the, we get to the green itself. I'll see what that does now. That's interesting because we're pitching onto a bit of a down slope. That's never going to spin back. It felt so good off the face. And again, I go back to that field discussion. I've just reviewed the um, these wedges, which are Mizuno. They're forged, so they feel really good anyway. Again, how much of that is about the ball? How much of it is about the wedge itself? Either way, really like what that did. Now, let's see what that does. That should just carry. Again, such a difficult shot. 
on that down slope it feels so good and it feels like it's sort of grabbing in there we've got that camera i'm not too sure what it's going to show if it just shows that little bit of a check on that down slope then that's done incredibly well but so far when i've gone into the wedges the feel has been superb and I'm liking the way that comes off the club face and what it looks like it's reacting on greens. Right, so let's see if we can play. It's still a short iron, but what I want to see is how this ball, if we can get one onto that green, how does it react? Um, not a lot of room to work with in terms of this pin. That's a real crisp strike, felt superb off the club. And this could be really good if that distance is right. Oh, wow. That is really good. Now again, um, we've got camera on green, so you'll know better than me. What that seems to do is very much pitch and a little bit of grab. It's almost like a three-quarter swing as well, so you're not going to get anything zipping back with that kind of uh, with that kind of swing. It was a nine iron, by the way, and uh, yeah really good and goes back to the feel i'm back in my pxt irons again so i'm more familiar with what i'm expecting in terms of that feel feel was good but there's a little bit of crispness and hopefully although the audio's uh, microphone is picked up on my chest hopefully you picked that up because it sounded superb and you just knew from the strike that you were going to get that little bit of grab i like that but more importantly i like that shot I just had a quick look at that pitch mark in terms of the iron that I played in and it looks like a little bit of zip back but like I said more importantly just that control element is really good. There's a number of shots that I've played in and around the golf course here today at Pula which you'll see again in terms of performance. Uh, the kind of clubs I had, the Mizuno wedges, I've got a Cleveland CBX um, full face 2 wedge out here today as well and across the board the ball did what I expected it to do to be quite honest with you. Seed make in my opinion really high performing golf balls at a realistic price point that sounds like an sounds like an advert and very much having a long association with seed and i'm very positive towards them so you know a lot of you out there struggle to comprehend their review when it's done from someone like me who like i said is favorable towards seed and i understand that so take it from what you will but if you do consider i can i reviewed a 15 pound eight dozen tailor made ball recently a high-end pxg ball recently all my reviews are very much independent and it remains the same when I pass my opinion on a seed golf ball. And what I will say is the SD01 is a super performing golf ball at a real good price point. And I think that it really should be in the mix when you consider what you want from a golf ball. If you're looking for a premium golf ball and you're prepared to pay, because I still think that sort of 25 pound a dozen is still, you know, on the expensive end, maybe I'm a little bit tight, but I don't like seeing two pound fly into the out of bounds or into the trees and leave my pocket quite that easily. But I would be prepared to go to this kind of price point for that kind of performance. And I think it's uh, far outweighs where it's pitched in terms of price that's me done take from it what you will what i will say is if you'd like to see dry ball data and some more in-depth analysis in terms of trackman then i'm quite willing to do it um, by all means stick that in the comment section below and maybe i'm going to do a more sort of broader head-to-head -head in terms of uh, the leading brands of golf balls out there and see where it all ends up that might be an interesting review and video for me to uh, take a part in at some stage right the sun is going down, it's the end of another day here at Pula Golf Resorts. It's been superb for club testing, product testing, in this case, ball testing. Right, thanks as ever for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow night.